Simu Liu was born in Harbin, China, and was raised by his grandparents, while his parents, both engineers, pursued their education in Canada. When Liu was five years old, he left the happy childhood he had enjoyed and moved to Mississauga, where he was raised and lived with his mother and father. He had difficulty adjusting to the culture and to his parents' high expectations, and consequently, had a troubled adolescence. And then did you live with your grandparents? I lived my, with my grandparents until I was about four and a half in, in Harbin in China. Mm -hmm. And then one day, uh, a stranger shows up at the door and he's like, I'm your dad, come with me, I'm going to Canada. And usually you would get arrested for doing that, but my, it, it, he actually was my dad. And, um, and then he took me away from everything I knew and brought me to a, a whole different place. But he excelled as a student getting straight A's, crushing national math competitions, and graduating from the Ivy Business School at Western University in 2011. He then began working as an accountant for a prominent consulting firm. But his business career was short-lived, and he was laid off after only a few months. When you first started out, you worked as an accountant before you became an actor? Yeah, yeah. It was, um, I look, I got fired after eight months. <laughs> Undaunted, he decided to break from the traditional path his parents had urged him to take and embark on a journey that would take him into the mysterious world of show business. Lee worked steadily in movies, television shows, short films, and music videos. How could you do it? How could you? You ruined my life. What are you talking about, Charlie? Look at everything that you have. In 2015, he had a recurring role in the Canadian crime series, Blood and Water. And starting in 2016, enjoyed a main role for the critically acclaimed television show, Kim's Convenience. About an immigrant Korean family, I think that any family can relate to it. This is about a very large part and a key component of Canadian culture, and that's our immigrants. For the rest of the decade, Liu continued to build his acting portfolio taking small roles in such TV series as Air Crash Investigation, Warehouse 13, Nikita, Heroes Reborn, Taken, Orphan Black, and Fresh Off the Boat. In 2021, Simu was chosen to play the titular Marvel comic book hero in Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Critics and audiences praised his dynamic performance which included martial arts moves and lighthearted comedy. In the United States, the movie was the second highest grossing film of 2021 and was also notable for its Asian-led cast. Leo described the film as monumental and its portrayal of a, quote, community that hasn't traditionally felt seen and felt visible. Following the success of Shang-Chi, Liu was in high demand as a Hollywood actor. In 2023, he assumed the role of the romantic leading man in the film One True Loves. Later that year, he appeared in Greta Gerwig's Barbie, which starred Margot Robbie in the title role of the iconic doll and Ryan Gosling as Ken. Beats was a little too much beats for you, Ken. If I wasn't severely injured, I would beat you off right now, Ken. The years Hi, Barbie! Coming, they don't stop coming. Hi, Ken! Hi, Barbie! Ugh. Hi, Ken! I can. Besides his acting roles, Liu wrote the memoir, We Were Dreamers, an immigrant superhero origin story, and became a New York Times best-selling author. In it, he talks about his difficult upbringing, which later opened the door to reconciling with his parents. Liu was included in Time Magazine's annual list of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2022. He was named one of Hello's 50 Most Beautiful Canadians and 25 Hottest Bachelors in 2017 and 2018. In May of 2021, Liu became the first East Asian man to make the cover of Men's Health magazine in over a decade. That same year, Simu became the fourth actor of Chinese descent to host Saturday Night Live. Ladies and gentlemen, He 
He has previously hosted the Juno Awards of 2022 and 23 and spoke emphatically about his adopted home, where we are proud to induct him into Legends Row, Mississauga's Walk of Fame. Because Canada is a place where the government is also our drug dealer. And we're into snowboarding, not waterboarding. And where a woman always has the right to choose. My name is Simu Liu, and I am Canadian. 